Well, a new report shows viewers are leaving the mainstream media by the droves. Here's a look at viewership for the networks comparing March of this year to March of last year. Well, you can see CNN feeling the most pain, losing 50 percent of its total viewers. Even Fox, the so-called fair and balanced network, is feeling the pain, seeing a 17 percent decline in viewers. MSNBC made out OK in comparison. They're up 3 percent. So it looks like people are turning elsewhere to get their news. To talk about why people are choosing to ditch the mainstream networks and where they're turning to instead, I'm joined now by David Seaman, journalist and host of The DL Show. Hi, David. So first want to ask you, where do you turn to for the news these days? Hi, Liz. Thanks for having me on. Uh, where do I turn? I turn to the Internet. Uh, sites like Reddit and StumbleUpon uh, basically tap into the collective consciousness where, you know, millions of users are voting on what's important and what's not important and the things that they deem important end up on the home page and then they get exposure. And I also rely on networks like this one, RT America. I rely on Current TV and The Young Turks. Uh, there are really only a handful of shows and networks that you can rely on these days, unfortunately, because uh, establishment media companies are, as your previous guest, your previous guest Andrew said, they're there to entertain and to misdirect the American people. And uh, unfortunately, that's not good, and it's widespread, and it's something that's really happened fairly recently. Uh, when you turned on CNN in the 90s, you got real news. You got uh, war correspondence and political controversy, and, you know, even if you didn't like it, you got the other side. The other political views were pushed your way so that maybe you could be better informed. You get both sides of an issue, and now that's not what you get. You get uh, tweets. Uh, I was just watching CNN before I came into the studio, actually. And it was, we're going to go to some more tweets now from our viewers and see what they're saying on Twitter. Here are some tweets. Like, it's like, how many, word, how many times can you say the word tweet in a single segment? If I wanted to hear what somebody is saying on Twitter, I would log into my Twitter account and read it. And I do spend a lot of time on Twitter. But for some, someone like CNN to just cherry pick a couple of tweets and then call that the news, that really isn't the news. They're not using their resources to go out there and gather facts and uh, challenge the powers that be. Now, so we are seeing that there is this exodus of viewers from the mainstream. You shared with us where you turn to for the news instead. Where would you say that the public is now turning to to get their news? Uh, the public slowly but surely is uh, wising up and they're doing the same thing. Uh, the fact that CNN is down 50 percent uh, versus last year in total viewers and they're down 60 percent in the lucrative 25 to 54 demo, uh, which all the networks try to go after. Uh, they're down a tremendous amount, and they're not the only ones hit. Almost all of the establishment networks are down versus last year. And a couple of people out there have said, oh, this is because this time last year we had the Japanese uh, disaster. And that's not, that's sloppy logic. Uh, this year there are plenty of issues. We have bloodshed in Syria. We have, uh, we're on the edge of war with Iran. Uh, we have one of the most contentious presidential elections in decades, so they certainly could get the ratings if they started covering real news again. Uh, I think most people are turning to the Internet just like me. And so talk a little bit more, David, about what is not being covered and why people are leaving. Uh, what's not being covered really is what the Obama administration and Congress have signed into law over the past few months. Uh, we saw Obama sign H.R. 347 which criminalizes certain forms of peaceful protest, literally makes it a felony, a federal offense to protest in certain areas, even if you are, if you are peaceful. And uh, that has gotten hardly any media coverage outside of you guys and Current TV and some of the big news blogs. Uh, and then before that, there is NDAA, which contains imprisonment without trial provisions, uh, which people have, I mean, everyone says this is an atrocity and a serious rollback of American civil rights, and yet you have to turn to European or Russian networks to hear about it, because here in the U.S., when you turn on CNN or uh, some of these other channels, you get uh, Kim Kardashian was heckled on the red carpet last night. Let's talk about that for half an hour. And uh, it, it's, it's really troubling. Those are the big issues. They're not covering the fact that our democracy is being chipped away, uh, our rights are being taken away from us by a two-party system that really uh, does not come together on anything, they couldn't agree to fund our federal government budget over the summer, and yet they secretly came together to sign away a pretty significant portion of our Bill of Rights. So when it comes to harming the American people, uh, Democrats and Republicans agree. And when it comes to uh, anything else, they disagree and they bicker 
and they hate each other. Now, um, all those issues you just mentioned, we do try to highlight them here at RT. We, we just went over what they're not covering. So what do you think drives what they do choose to cover? Uh, I think it's purely driven by profit. Some people are conspiracy theorists and say that, uh, you know, CNN and Fox are trying to distract people from this rapid takeover, this rapid uh, erosion of our rights. And I think that's really... Uh, their distraction is a byproduct. They're not primarily out there saying, we're going to distract people from this law. It's that they know, they just go for the low-hanging fruit, right? They know that they can get a certain number of ratings if they have this celebrity on tonight, instead of having some boring politician on who's going to talk about this new law that everybody should know about. And so they go with that. They only care about making money. Uh, but if they're driven by the profit... television networks... Sorry to, interrupt. Sorry, what was that? Sorry to interrupt you there, but if they are driven by profit, then um, are they just giving people what they want? Well, that's the problem is we're seeing that this is not what people want. It worked for a couple of years, but then we had the economic crisis and we do have these laws being signed and people are waking up. They read about it online and then they turn on their TV because they want to hear more and what they're seeing on TV doesn't sync up. And when that happens, People go, this isn't right. I'm not going to listen to these liars anymore because I see protests right outside of my window in Union Square in New York or, you know, anywhere else in the country uh, talking about these issues, and yet it doesn't get mentioned on the news. And whenever you have that huge gap between what you're reading online on Facebook and Twitter and what the evening news is showing you, that's when people choose alternative outlets and when they seek out information from other means. Uh, so covering Kim Kardashian worked for a couple of years, and that's great. Uh, they can make their money. But now people are like, this isn't acceptable. You know, you guys should send reporters out and cover original stories. You should break ground. Uh, when was the last time that CNN broke a story that really damaged uh, some kind of power or some kind of authority and really went after corruption? I, I can't tell you. I don't remember the last time. All right, a story David. Like that. Well, you won't. One thing's for sure: you won't see us covering Kim, Kim Kardashian here at RT. <laughs> Pleasure to have you on the show. That was David Seaman, journalist and host of the DL Show.